Hey, queens and kings, welcome back, you guys. So today we have eight modern affordable home decor DIYs, which is a modern glam, where I'm creating all four of these pieces that I'm showing you guys right here. But like I said, I did create an eight in all, using Dollar Tree items, doing revamps on probably one or two. But if you all would like to see the rest and how I made each and every one of them, why don't you queens and kings continue to watch? All right, Queens of Keys. So starting off with revamp number one slash DIY. This is a massager that from the Dollar Tree. I don't like the color on it. So therefore, I'm going to use this Walmart spray paint, take it outside, and we're going to spray paint it all matte black. And voila, you got a table decor piece. A little statement piece, a little funny looking piece at that matter of fact though. But it's cute. It's cute. And it give your home just a little decor piece. Nobody would know it was a massager unless you tell them or they watch this video. <laughs> But anyway, moving on to DIY number two here. I'm using some Dollar Tree faux baseballs and these little flat back gems that I purchased from Mike. I had a while in my craft. So I'm trying to go through some of my craft stuff. So if it doesn't make sense of me creating these DIYs with some of these items, that's the reason why I'm trying to downsize because your queen in the middle of moving and everything. So that's why y'all getting these videos like this. But anywho, you want a little more of my life, my everyday life, check out queen Val living i will link it down below but anyway as you all can see basically i'm just gluing the gems onto the balls now me looking back and editing this video i wish i'd have filled this in a little bit more so therefore you don't see the little faux thread of the baseball now i was trying to cover that up the best of my ability but i couldn't so i would tell you guys and advise you all to put more on here because we are making some decorative balls if you did not get the draft there we don't get it but voila magic so i have this little bowl as well from the dollar tree you can find all these little clear bowls now i got gold spray paint i'm showing you guys from walmart but i ain't gonna use gold so i'm actually gonna use silver and this is basically how i look now i also advise that you get another set of balls if you could come across these but if you can't you do what you do do what you do but this is basically how i look and i think i like and i put in some um crystals and everything just try to rise it up a little bit put a little more filler to it but i like it i like it i like it but my spray paint wasn't dry all the way child the ghetto <laughs> but anyway so moving on to diy number three now this here is basically some leftovers from some spoons and forks that i have used that i made several diys with which i will upload i done made sconces with them i done made my famous hourglass with them and basically i'm just using the leftovers because i saw this cute little glass or crystal little tabletop decor which i would insert which you guys know i i seen it on instagram so i'm gonna insert a picture of it and basically that's what i'm trying to mimic i thought i saw this somewhere else but i ran across it on instagram so i will say that but that's basically what i'm doing and this just actually gluing these together making a cute little faux crystal tabletop decor right isn't she cute so this is basically how i have it on top of my tom ford book and i just like it because it's simple it's like a, a paper weight but y'all know this is not that heavy so that's where that's why i sitting on top of this book here but i like it and it was just something simple and affordable to do now moving on to diy i think number four i think if i'm not mistaken here i'm using my hot knife some spray paint these little dice here faux dice from the dollar tree and these gems here are crystal gems that I purchased from Michaels once again or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. One of the two. But I took the paper off as best as I could using soap and water. So this is basically how they turn out. So before I take these outside and spray paint them, I'm actually going to put holes in them and make them look like dice. 
um, basically table decor dice, you know, decorative. Pretty much that's what we're going to have. Now, basically, you see me did it with a hot glue gun. Now, if your glue gun is hot enough, you can do it with the hot glue gun. But I'm using my hot knife here, a uh, wood burner. I think that's the correct name for it. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby at least about a year now. But I'm quite sure you can find one on Amazon, back at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any craft store you can find it. Or just use the option of using a hot glue gun. So all I'm doing here is just making little crosses or whatever. So this is basically where the crystal's going to sit in at. So therefore, they give me the little monogram dice look. I don't know, but I think I just made that up though. But judge whoever you want to judge, but don't judge me, judge mom. But anyways, moving on. So basically, I'm going to put these holes on each side. You know, I did mess up somewhere alone. And I think I went up to like seven. Then I thought about it. I was like, man, the dice don't have no seven sides. Girl, what was you thinking? But anyways, in case I want to change to the seven side, one and seven, I don't know, seven, 11, I don't know. But anywho, that's basically what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it. Now I ran out of the matte spray paint, which the paint that you guys seen that I had in the beginning was like a satin or a gloss. I does not work in that, recognize, I does not, what's the word? I just, I don't approve that spray paint there. That's what I'm trying to say, but it's another word I'm trying to say, but anywho, so now that I have my holes, take them outside and spray paint them. Recommend. That's the word. Thank you, queen. Thank you. you be, girl, you know you be helping me out. But yes. So because you see got the little glossy look. No, I want a matte look, but I end up picking up the wrong spray paint. And I picked this up from another store anyway. So anywho, the reason why I don't recommend the gloss because anything you touch or whatever is going to be stuck on to. And you're going to see me later basically trying to clear that up. So now moving it on, placing some hot glue inside the holes that I pre-made it. And I'm just placing the gems directly inside, directly inside them. That's it. Not too much because you don't want it to ooze out. And if it does ooze out, just go back with your um with some paint, hand paint, and just paint over it. But I do not recommend getting no gloss paint. And you guys will see in a moment. Okay, so I see that I have some spiderweb screens from this um, hot glue. So all I'm doing is using the paintbrush that I'm pretty gonna use in a moment to cover up some of the little spots and stuff that got stuck on there from the paint trying to dry, which it did not dry in time enough for this video. So I'm basically gonna do what I have to do, but I'm taking the dry uh, paintbrush to get rid of the spiderwebs. That's basically what I'm showing you guys there. So here I'm coming back with a matte black um, hand paint I think I purchased this from Walmart or something. Any craft store you can find it from, you can purchase it. But me being lazy and trying to push this video out to you all, because I really want to get this video out Friday, but this video is going to go out Tuesday. So I do apologize. But like I said, I'm doing a lot of moving and everything else going on in my everyday life. So, but this is how my dice, my dice is turned out or the dice is turned out. <laughs> And I love the way that they look. Now, if they'd have been finished drying and everything, you won't see none of this little gloss look, then the matte look. If they'd have been all spray painted matte black, I think it would have been much prettier. But they are still cute in a cute little table, table core, the talking piece. Why can't I get that out? I don't know. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all queens and kings let me know so far how I'm doing with these decor and modern pieces. Because I'm trying to bring you guys some fresh new ideas and make you think outside the box. Because it don't have to be exactly what you see in a store. You get what I'm saying? Be whatever your creativity come to mind. So moving on to DIY thing number yeah, I don't lost count. Y'all tell me. But this one here is just a basically decorative um, catch-all tray that I'm going to be using. And I'm using some more Dollar Tree items. These little containers here, I think four or six come in a pack. And then this flower plant bowl here as well. So you remove all of the labels. And I'm going to glue these two pieces together because I got rid of one of the other bowls. And it's going to be the base to hold the flower plant. And we're going to take it outside and spray paint it matte black. Thank you. 
All right, Queens of Kings. So I love the way that this turned out. Now, when I did flip it back over in the middle there where you see the jewelry and whatever else that I have in this bowl, you could see the bottom of it. So you want to make sure you spray paint that um, as well afterwards. But I love the way that this turned out. This will be a piece that I will for sure keep around or make another if it don't get smashed in a move. Now, anyways, we're moving on to DIY. I think this is DIY number seven. Yeah, DIY number seven. Here I'm taking this um, dry clay. You guys seen that I made one of these little knots before. And so I have another one that I purchased from Walmart. These was like $8 and I'm cutting it down in half. And basically I'm going to make a bow or pretty much a bow, a knot with this one here. So I roll it down and I use some water to help soften it because air dry clay will dry if you let too much air get a hold to it. So you may want to keep some water around. So therefore you could form it and shape it how you want it. Now at this point here, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I figured it out and we're gonna get a gorgeous knot. All right, so this is how my knot look, but it looked more like a pretzel, but don't bite it. Don't bite it. It's just a table, tabletop decor piece. That's all it is. But you want to let this clay dry for at least 24 hours once it turns like a stone white. Then it's ready for the spray paint or hand painting or whatever case may be. You guys know I love spray paint. Spray paint is my go-to. I would spray paint anything before I hand paint it. I really would. But yeah, so how does this look? You love it? Love it. Good. So moving on to the last and final DIY here, I'm going to make the three-tier stackable, not stackable, three-tier um, modern candle holders. That's what I'm trying to get out. Um, so I have a smaller vase, a medium, and a large. The, the medium and large you can find at the Dollar Tree. The smaller one I think you have to find at Walmart. Now I'm using these tea light candle holders here that I got from the Dollar Tree the little small rounds there and then this one here that I'm placing on top of the tea light candle holder these came from Walmart the smaller one and the medium and the large one came from the Dollar Tree so based on this how I'm going to glue all this together and I'm going to use Dollar Tree um, adhesive glue now you can use E6000 you can use hot glue if you just want a little temporary fix it still will give you the look but I recommend Gorilla Glue Stick hot glue if you do so this is the adhesive that I'm going to use and I'm going to secure all this together and let this dry at least 72 hours because this glue here could be really tricky. So that's why I said E6000 some or just hot glue, but um, let this dry at least 72 hours. If you can wait that long, I just want to be more um, cautious. That's it. And I'm going to take it outside and we're going to spray paint it matte black and we're going to have some beautiful three tier modern candle holders.
All right, queens and kings. So for the last and final DIY here, I have my modern three-tier candle holders. And I love these. I love these. I love everything that I created, but I really do love the way these turned out. And I'm using Dollar Tree um, candles on top there to give you guys the illusion of the look of what I'm pretty much going for. But I hope you queens and kings enjoy this video. These modern glam home decor, affordable, easy tabletop decor pieces. If you all did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely, if you're a new queen king, just stopping by trying to see what I'm creating over here. Hello, my name is Valerie. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And I appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the notification bell if you do subscribe. And I will talk to you queens and kings in the next video. Bye-bye.